Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Also in boxing, let me fix this, okay. Yeah, you try to get updates on what's going on with some of our favorite fighters. Um, in particular, old Terrence Crawford. If you're taking a look at Terrence Crawford, I'm gonna tell you right now, there was just an image that surfaced of uh, Earl Spence where I guess he inadvertently activated, uh, you know, going live. And as a result, we got to see the physical condition that Earl Spence was in. And he looked a little bit, um, looked out of shape, at least from what we could see his face. Like I said, I was making a joke about him eating the collard green sandwiches in Dallas. I live in Texas, and let me tell you, uh, anything goes. We come to barbecue. Um, and me being a West Indian background, you know, you know all food, all good food is a gets a thumbs up. Collard green sandwich, must, mustard green sandwich, brisket sandwich, shit, tacos, fajitas, all that. We're eating it. So Earl Spence look like he's been enjoying himself out here in Texas. But then you come in here, there's a couple of days later, and Terrence Crawford posts a picture where it says, look, I'm a gym, right? I'm in the gym. Um, but if you look at his face, Face looks very full, and uh, definitely not the face we're used to seeing for Terrence Crawford when he's getting into fight shape. Now, I'm going to tell you, there's so many rumors uh, circulating as far as what's going on, just the 147-pound division as a whole. But what I'm going to do is tell you, if if Crawford and Spence were slated to fight on 17 June, okay, we're two months out, and he doesn't look like he has, when you look at him, because he's naturally, you could tell, a slim guy, right? And you see the, you know, the muscles in the stomach. He doesn't look like he has a lot of weight to lose. I'm not sure how much he weighs in this picture, but I would think Terrence Crawford is probably maybe 10 to 15, probably 15 pounds or so away from uh, the 147 pound limit. Now over a six to day period, they can definitely melt down to get uh, within the window they need to be for that moment in time weigh in. But when I look at the fullness of his face, it does make me feel that for the biggest fight of his life, for the undisputed distinction, Earl Spence, same thing, right? You would think by now there, there would be a... Maybe the physical condition would look a little different. Uh, I get it was 60 days out, but if there was truth to this fight being made, you would think the grind would have started already. The camp would have started. I mean, you know, they want to peak at the right time. But at the end of the day, 60 days out, eight weeks, an eight-week training camp, maybe a 10-week training camp for the biggest fight of your life, I just don't think that's going to cut it. But if Terrence Crawford has been staying in shape and living in the gym, then that could kind of explain why he his face kind of still has that fullness because he doesn't have to shed 25, 30 pounds. He's already within that target window in regards to his weight or where he wants to be. But still, to me, looking at him, looking at Earl Spence, looking at the photos in particular of their faces and seeing the fullness of their face, that that that, that doesn't give me a warm fuzzy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just wonder what's going on. But um, anyway, more to come on Spence and Crawford. Haven't heard anything else. You know, it's been radio silence when it comes to this fight. Anybody talking about anything else as far as what's going on at the 147-pound division, they're lying to you. People talking about Boots in his fighting Thurman, that's a lie. Uh, Thurman fighting Crowley, that's a lie. Uh, Mario Barros and Yugas fighting, that's true. That's already come out and been announced. Uh, Earl Spence and Crawford is definitely on for the 17th of June. They're both in training camp. People in training camp getting interviews, that's, that's a lie. That's, that's not true. That's not true. They're not, there's no, no interviews. Nobody's in the camp 
interview of them hearing Crawford talk about fighting Spence and hearing Spence talk about fighting Crawford. That's, that's not true. They're, these guys have gone quiet for a reason, and I, like most others, have uh, you know, kind of assumed that the, that the fight is on, especially when you look at some of the movements going on right now. Okay, so I, I definitely believe the fight's on, but they're not saying anything. But, I, but I, it does make me wonder to be so close to the quote-unquote scheduled fight date that there, there is a more activity as far as reporters in the camp. Uh, these guys' physical conditioning hasn't kind of taken that turn and to really show a streamlined physique yet. You know, it's, it's, so when I watch it, it just makes me want to ask more questions. But it doesn't matter because my questions aren't going to get answered because no one's talking. But that being said, we'll see if we get some more information on old Crawford and Spence. But I'll tell you one thing, on a positive note, it's good to see that Spence was supposedly in a, looks like he was in some kind of sweatsuit or something. It looked like he was trying to cut weight. So that's a good thing. He looked like he was exercising to get in shape. And you look at Terrence Crawford, he's in the gym, and it looks like he's training for something. Um, but we know both of them do stay in the gym. They do stay active. But I think they're actually concentrating the efforts on a on something big and let's hope that it there's truth to what's uh, been rumored uh, and that rumor is just snowballing into something large uh, let's just hope there's some truth to the fight taking place um, but more to come on old Crawford and old Spence hopefully he's in the gym training for Spence but uh, time will tell that being said y'all keep cool shout out to the veterans all seven continents I'm in the breeze